Good morning, everyone. It's Bobby. <clears throat> I'm always so froggy in the morning. Um, I am working with scraps left over from the Swallow Collection, the Baby Girl Collection. And I just wanted to show you, this is what I have left, just little bitty pieces. So that's what I'm working with. But I needed to make some thank yous or um, baby announcements. So what I came up with is this little card. And these are pre-made uh, cards that I had in my stash. And I just used some plain pink cardstock. And I used, here they are, these postage stamp or fluted edge dies that I've got this set in my stash. I used those. And this is loose because we don't know what we're having yet. It may be a girl, maybe a boy. But um, whatever the case, I can always reproduce it in blue. But I will print out on a little piece the name, the date, and the weight, and then it'll attach here to this. And that will be her announcement. Then she can put a photo of the baby inside. Let me show you. Get a scrap here. I hope this isn't too wide. It's too wide for the frame, but anyway, it's open where you can slide a uh, picture in there. And then she can write a little thank you note in here with either a regular pen or a white gel pen. So let me step this back. I have several of these yet to go. This one is done as well. And I just used some of the um, dimensional chipboard stickers that I got from Tammy's store. I've used a lot of them. I'm going to have to find, um, come up with something else for the rest of my invitations. But I wanted to show you, uh, if you're using a edge die like I'm using here, put your three pieces together at the bottom first before you cut the edge. And I just have them attached right here. And then I put it in my die cut machine. That way it's the same here. I had to go back on these. I didn't think to do that. And I had to hand trim them with scissors to make the match. So it worked best like that. And then this will go down on the front. <clears throat> they were really quick and easy to make. And like I said, they're just all scraps. You put a little glue under there. But it's a good way to use up all your little pieces. And that'll just sit on the front. And I did ink the edge of the card with Vintage Photo. And I inked everything with Vintage Photo. I just like the inked edges on things. I think it just gives it a finished look. But if you don't like that look, you don't have to do it. So I'm going to put that in an angle up here. And I'm going to tuck this just under that uh, printed or the punch strip so that she can add the other little card. And that will go right here. And then she can add the little thing there. This one. When we know what we're getting. And that can go right in there. So for the inside, I cut out, I used two of these little frames. They're two of these rect squares. This one and this one. And I just sandwiched them together and ran them through my die cut machine to get this little frame. And then I cut some real thin strips of lightweight cardstock to put in there. And then I'll just put glue on three sides. And it didn't take very long to make these either, real quick. And we'll just glue this down. And there's the third one ready. Kind of centered as best you can. So there's another one. So I have quite a few more to make. Not too terribly many. This is her third child, so she's not expecting to have a huge shower. Probably just family and uh, close friends. It won't be a big deal. Typically, and I don't know if it's still the same way, but it used to always be that a baby shower was usually just for the first born. But it may have changed. Who knows? Let me change the angle this a little bit like that. And then let's get this little flower. 
I like to add a little extra glue to the chipboard stickers, even though they're sticky bad. I'm always afraid they'll come loose, and we'll just put that little flower up there. That just kind of finishes that off. And then on the inside, how about the pacifier? Would be the pacifier. Punch that out in the center. Isn't that cute? Just so sweet. So there we go. There's another one ready. Now the other thing I wanted to show you was um, a little candy box that I saw online. Because usually when you go to a shower, um, they have like the cake and the punch on the table. And then they have little bowls of uh, nuts and mints and things set out. And I saw this little candy box that I thought was so cute. And it perfectly holds three little miniatures. And you could always put uh, mints or um, nuts in these little things, but I thought that'd be so cute to give to each one of the people at the shower. And it was real easy to make, and it's just made, see I'll show you, there's three of the little candy bars in there. And, or, excuse me, for well, goodness sakes, I got nimble fingers this morning, or the dropsies or something. Um, it also fits two Ghirardelli squares. So let me show you real quick how I made this. This is not my idea, but we all share and share alike, so I thought I would share this with you guys. Let me put my pin back on my glue so it doesn't set up in that tip. Okay. So you've got a five by five square. Uh, this one, uh, this first one I did out of the artisan cardstock and then I cut the little pieces to embellish it with. But this one I'm going to do out of double sided and that will eliminate have to, having to cut all those other pieces. So let me find my scoring tool. What did I do with it? Here it is. Okay, the first thing we want to do is to score at one half and one. So we're going to score one half. I hope I'm in frame. One half. Let me get these cards out of the way. And one. And then four. I'd like to go over it twice with this. And four and a half. And then we're going to turn, and we're going to score, and it's going to be hard to see on here. Maybe I can see it better on this side. We just want to score it one inch down to these two marks. Then two and a half, I think it was, yes, two and a half, and three. Score this one at one. Just down to that second score line. It's hard to see on this print. Okay. So there we go. I think that's all of the scoring. Yes. So. <clears throat> It's going to be hard for you to see on this print. I wish I had used something different. Um, here's my template here. See where it's scored in? We're going to cut this section out right here. And then we're going to cut this section out. But before we cut those out, we want to get our... What did I do with my blow punch board? Well, oh, there it is. Okay. Now you may have the original one. I did have the original one at one time, but I used it so much it finally quit punching. So now I have the party board, which is longer, but it shouldn't change the dimensions at all. So with 
this part at the top where you've got the, the two one inch scores you want to put that up to the top and you want to line it up at three and punch it and then bring it back to one and punch it again and you want to rotate it don't turn your paper over just rotate it and punch it three and back up one okay now that's all of the punch board Now we need to cut those little slivers out. From this punch here, we're going to cut out. And then we're going to cut this out. So you're going to line it up just with the low spot of that little divot there. And you'll feel it when you clear that little area. Takes that out. And we want to go down to here and cut that part out as well. Trim that up with the scissors. Turn it around and do the same thing. A little bit too low. Okay, there. It's getting a little bit dull. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I've got something to trim there. Use my scissors. A little nub of paper there. Okay, now we're going to go back to where that one inch score is and we're going to cut straight in on that score and take the rest of that out. same thing on the other side. I'm having trouble seeing it myself and I'm not close to it. Okay, so that'll be that end. And then we're going to go down and we're going to cut out these two squares. Far, I don't think I did. I hope not. Okay. Now, you're going to move over to this first score line at a half inch, and you're going to cut out that little square up to the next score line. And then we're going to just slice this right there so we'll have a tab straight up there up this one and then take that side piece out all right now let's burnish on all our score lines hmm. this turns out really little but it's so cute so there's that score line. Then this one. I think I've got enough scraps to make little candy boxes and things for the people that we will invite to her little get together. I'm not going to call it a shower because I don't think they really have showers for your third child. But family and real close friends will want to give her a gift and celebrate with her so that's what we'll do. So you'll fold up these two little tabs and we're going to apply glue to the tabs in this first edge and it will fold in like this and then you'll bring this part up and that'll make your little candy box. 
like that. Isn't it cute? It's just adorable. I love it. Okay, so let me get glue on those. And it's so easy when you don't have to cut all the pieces. So I'm going to put the glue there. in the same way. Oops. And take your bone folder and push that little tab into place. Okay. Now let's put our candies in here. Not cute, so quick and easy, nothing to it. All right, guys, that's it. That's my project share for today. I hope you enjoy it. It's been a lot of fun working with these baby papers that Tamara sent. It's just you can put any kind of embellishment or a little bow or a border on there. It's just as cute as it can be. And I think another thing I might do in the future is round this little corner and this one as well. But other than that, I just love it. I think it is so cute, and it's so quick and easy to make. Probably didn't take five minutes to make it. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.